Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh Shanley. Just dropped the kids off for school, about to go in and grab my coffee for the morning. But I wanted to share something, a perspective change that I had uh, that, that came from my small group this weekend. Um, we're working through a study called Before Amen by Max Licato. And one of the things that Max talks about and recommends that we do is that we start our prayers saying the phrase, Oh, Daddy, Oh, Daddy changing our, the way, the, the, the phrasing and, and our perspective on the words that we're using. And it was funny in the discussion in our small group, it, it seemed as though almost universally, we were all struggling with saying that word, right? Using that phrase, you know, we typically say father or, you know, heavenly father or whatever, but saying daddy, you know, it, starting our prayers with daddy was, was, um, it was something we were struggling with, which, which sparked a conversation and, uh, uh, something that one of the wives in the group shared that really changed, uh, my perspective on prayer in general and just having a conversation with God and, and leaning into God. She shared how one of their daughters, they have four daughters, has this word for daddy. Uh, I think she said it was kind of like datum, datum. And anytime her husband would be away from any time or got home for work or whatever, she would just full of energy, yell out datum, datum, and run to her husband. And her husband would kneel down and open his arms and embrace his daughter. And she was just filled with joy. I mean, it was like there was nothing else going on. And I've experienced that as a dad with all of my children. If I go away for any amount of time or, uh, you know, whatever, even if I'm gone for the day and I come in, you know, especially my younger daughters right now, they'll yell, daddy, daddy, and they'll run into my arms. And I'm excited to open my arms and embrace them. And so the perspective change that I had uh, that maybe will help you know, some of you listening because it helped me and that's why I want to share it is that I, I, just thinking differently about how the father, how God is wanting to receive us and, and picturing him as that dad, me or, or the husband, uh, you know, that, that, that was, that I was describing of just that opening those arms and, and just the joy in with, in which you embrace, uh, you know, that your, your, your daughter or your son as they, you know, as they lean into you. And that's the way God wants us to pray to him. And that's the way he wants to embrace us. And so, um, I, I don't know, it, it was something that was like, an aha moment for me. And so I felt compelled to share that with you. So if you found that um, at all valuable, at all helpful in whatever form or fashion, do me a favor and like below. Uh, I'd certainly comment um, and, and share if you feel so inclined to do so. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your perspectives on, on uh, you know, what I shared and, and just prayer in general. And if you've gone through the Before Amen series with Max Licato, let me know your thoughts on that as well. So thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully it's helpful to you in some way, form or fashion. And uh, maybe we'll talk again soon.